Hi guys, welcome to the Lost Writer's Office. This doesn't seem stagey at all. No, this is how we walk in every day. Hi Damon. Hello there Carlton, welcome to Building 23, which is where the magic happens. And uh, we thought we'd give you guys a little bit of a tour today of the Lost Writer's Office. Oh, this is this? cool, yeah. yeah. This is, uh, there's a Brazilian artist who did this. You can see there's a lot of the Lost family there. Who's that, David? He's represented in that. Rousseau? That, that would be my guess. So. Of course, Echo with the stick. Okay, yeah. so anyway, so we actually happen to have some uh, Dharma products here. For those of you who are wondering, keep Carlton away from the Dharma chili. <laughs> Talk about a rip in the space-time continuum. <laughs> then we'll just leave it at that. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, Mike. Mike's our production assistant. Mike keeps us fueled and fed. Um, in thing. here, uh, you can find Greg Nations and uh, Noreen. O'Toole. O'Toole. Hi, guys. Damon, what is this? This what is the you? Twilight Zone pinball machine, which was our sort of gift to the writers this year. It's sort of... A, a job well done. Damon, who has the high score on Twilight Zone? Uh, that would be me, Carlton. Everyone else knows that to, to unseat me um, is would be a certain to... demise of yes. your role on the show. Hi. Hey, look this, at that. This here is our the... amazingly talented writer staff. staff. They're looking very natural here exactly. in the writer's room. These are our writer's assistants. This is uh, Rupa. That's Jim. And uh, they have to laugh at our jokes. Sitting next to uh, to Jim there is Elizabeth Sarnoff. Next to Liz is uh, Eddie, Eddie Kitsis. On the show since the first season of the show. Next to Eddie is uh, <laughs> Melinda Sue Taylor, who actually, uh, in addition to the gentleman sitting to her right, is uh, new this year. Over here, Paul Spashevsky. Very nice. Yes, Paul has the distinction uh, of having only one vowel in his entire name, Spashevsky. So you can see we, we actually had a pronunciation key. Right. Uh, Adam Horowitz, <laughs> um, very, uh, very productive member of the writing staff and Eddie's partner. And, uh, and Kyle Pennington. Kyle Pennington. Well, Over Carlton, here, we can we talk a little bit about, yes. about these. Yeah. The, you know, there are many, many characters on the show, and obviously uh, it's hard to kind of keep them straight. So these are all the characters who are still living. Um, of course, yeah. don't think that just because you see them here that they, that they are surviving long into season five. And then sort of there's, a, there's an undead column. Yeah, let me, let sort me of move right this here. right next to the living column there. We right? have Christian Shepherd, and we have uh, Echo's brother yeah, I mean, and uh, the horse. Kate's horse. Kate's horse. That's right. All Kate's undead. horse is undead. And then over in the R.I.P. column there, the rest in peace, uh, everybody who sort of left the, uh, our merry band already. So, okay. uh, well, guys, thanks for inviting us into the writer's room. Okay. All right, God we'll, bless. We'll be back after you guys finish the season. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Thank you so much for stopping by the writer's office. We're really happy that we got a chance to introduce you to all of our wonderful collaborators and that you got a chance to see where the magic, when it is magic, happens. And when it's not magic. Even when it's not magic, that's where it happens. And you just reach into the hat and nothing comes out. Exactly. So right. uh, we'll Goodbye. see you next time. Bye.